what's up, G1s? We're in San Jose, California's largest flea market. I'm Rob. And I'm Josh. And you're watching Retro Hunters. All right, so this is San Jose Flea Market. It's uh, supposed to have like over 2,000 vendors. Mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be eight miles worth of uh, yeah. just oh, stuff yeah. to buy and look at or whatever. So there's going to be some sweet games here. We know it. All right, so let's talk about some objectives. <laughs> objectives? I don't know. Yeah, got it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today, definitely for me, um, dude, I have kind of a vendetta a little bit that's like kind of worn through from Denio's. <laughs> I don't know if you recall, but that one guy had a Castlevania 4, and he wanted 15 bucks for it, and that was just ridiculous. I would love to find a copy of Castlevania 4 for, I mean, at least 10. I don't know, man. What do you think? Um, I'm hoping to get at least one Virtual Boy game. I don't care if I already own it. I just want to see one. I only have two. <laughs> you so just want to see one for to, sale? I need to get one, yeah. yeah. I don't care if I have to buy it, and I already have it. I hope it's another Mario Tennis. Yeah, I don't. Uh, my other objective is actually for you. I want to get a Super Nintendo version of Street Fighter 2 for you, because you need to have Dude, that game. That would be that would be excellent. I don't and know. I want a mango. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens. Oh yeah, dude. Let's see how you measure up. <laughs> what have we here? Alright. Super scope. Ooh, pilot wings. Look at his face, it's all lit up. Columns, dude. Columns. <laughs> Got some black box games, but I already have those. Lion King for Genesis, bro? Oh, whoa, give me that. Check that out. Is that good? You know you love your Disney games. <laughs> yeah. How much are you asking for your old games? Uh, those are five bucks each. Five bucks each. I'll tell you what, is this a hard five? <laughs> All right, so I got the Lion King for Sega Genesis, and you got you picked up what? Picked up a sweet little card called Pilot Wings, sucker. Three bucks. I don't know if that was the greatest deal, but it's better than he was asking five for it, so yep. I wasn't going to pay five bucks for that. Rob spots with stuff from all the way across the lot. PlayStation. I see a PlayStation. <laughs> Oh dang! Smooth jazz collection. Nice. One that's that like one of. It. I think that's the greatest hit. You can get that for twenty bucks now. <laughs> so a banner like that is never a good sign. No. Uh -uh, that definitely, that's, that's definitely looks reseller. like reseller territory. So uh, shall we venture in? Let's do it. It's funny because. They have a wide selection, but a lot of it is not very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and really expensive. If you want a Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World for $34. Well. Hope you guys can sleep at night. How much are your uh, Super Nintendo games going for? Uh, okay. Um, what about your Street Fighter 2? Just the, the normal one. Ten dollars? You don't want to go like seven, maybe? I, I, I buy them around that price. Six, yeah. Oh, so you, oh, so you you pick them up and then you resell them? Yeah. Ah, okay. That's awesome. Look at the weapons. We should take some of these over back to that guy's booth. <laughs> God, wait, Xena Warrior Princess? I didn't even know they made that game. Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh, dude, that's a Majora's Mask. You see much they want for that? So oh, well. Maybe the Xena, too. Oh, you're going to buy Xena? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you going to do with that? that? Play it. Do we want to know? Give me... Give me 15 for the boat. Um, we take 10? 10 for them, not 12 dollars. How much for just the Zelda? I'm selling 10 dollars for it. Oh, 10. Give me 8 dollars. Dude, so you just picked up Majora's Mask for eight yeah. bucks. How you feeling about that? Mm, not sure. No, that dude you just bought Zelda from, mm -hmm. he had a very unhealthy amount of naked Barbie dolls. 
Yeah, he did. For sale. <laughs> did that deter you in any way? No, I just plowed straight through. Nice. Plowed straight through the naked Barbie dolls? Straight to the video games. <laughs> John Elway, quarterback. Oh, are you kidding me? Start. We've got... Oh, yes! <laughs> the legend continues. Any way to tell? No, dude. That thing is... It's stripped clean. All right, what do we got here? Bad, oh, bad dudes, good lord. Hey, I was wondering, this one, it doesn't have a label or anything, I, but I, I, <laughs> I'm not sure, but it might be Zelda, yeah, it might be. It might be? It might How be. much are you wanting to get for this? Give me three dollars, take it. We take two? Does that yeah, mean uh, nothing on there? Okay. <laughs> okay, no. We just picked up another mystery cart, this time a SNES one, for two bucks. The guy says he's pretty sure that it's Zelda. I guess a link to the past. I don't have high hopes for that. I think he was just saying that to try and knock up the price. But another mystery card. This is getting ridiculous. We'll see what happens. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Okay, they got a turtles in time. Right, they got a games? What's that? Do you guys sell games? Sell games? Yeah. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> no, we, we collect, just... and that is it. <laughs> Do you have Star Fox already? I don't. We sell um, any of these games right here around $90. 90 Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Did you see my ears go? <laughs> okay. Immediately, what I'm seeing is we have a Turtles in Time, which I would love to get my hands on. Let's get down the brass tacks, my friend. Okay, Turtles in Time. Hook me up, man. How much? Do me right here. He's not going to say five, I know it. He's probably going to say like 15. There it is, he said 15. 15? Are you serious? Is that a hard 15? That's a pretty solid 15. So that's the, like a really nice solid 15? Yeah. I'm willing to part with 15 bucks, but not just for that. So, what about Star Fox? Uh, same price. Same? I do 13 if you take this. You'll do 15 on this, 13 on that, or 13 total? Uh, 13 and 15. Is that an Atari mystery? <laughs> Do it. That's how it's done. Alright, so you picked up Pitfall, Pitfall which is and awesome. Mystery car. The mystery card for five bucks. Five bucks. I have a nice one. Games. Ooh, I got a Mega Man 3. What you guys want for this one? That one is eight bucks. Seven bucks. Can you take five? I mean, make six bucks. While he's thinking about that, how much you guys want for your blades of steel? We take four? I'll take four. All right. Okay, so, so Mega Man 3, blades of steel, 17. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. $17. We have That's a lot. One red one. For two. Mega Man 3 and Blades of Steel though, man. And so you're saying a total of 17? Yeah. Can we go total 15 so we're knocking a little bit off each Not one? Not really, you know, I mean, if you do that, it means you're getting all my profit off, you know. I mean, I'll give you a good deal from the beginning, you know. Yeah. You make like a two, three <laughs> bucks of this. I mean, don't think that we buy one dollar, sell it fourteen dollars. We pay twelve dollars, sell it fifteen bucks. The only thing is I can, you know, I, there's some people who... I'll give you $16 altogether. All together? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so, so what did you just pick up, Rob? I is that a Mega up Man 3? A Mega Man 3 and a Blades of Steel for 16 bucks. I... Seven each. Okay, here's the deal. Blades of Steel is not even worth seven bucks. I, I got that one for four. So hang on a second. What do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> There's a 32X. Cosmic Carnage. <laughs> There's a regular NBA jam. Menacer. 
six game cartridge. Dude, it's too bad you don't own the Menacer. Alright, dude, so what'd you get? I should have said. I gave you two. What is it? Cosmic Carnage. I've never even heard of it. It's just 32x, so I need, I need more 32x games. Here. For four bucks? Yeah. It's not so bad. Could not so bad. Worse. Could have been way worse. People, you could have paid yeah. $17 for Mega Man 3 and Blades of Steel. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, forget Golden Axe. You can just buy that Golden Axe and carry it around, and it'll be almost as cool as the game. Star Fox, five bucks. Yes! Mortal Kombat. So Mortal Kombat, four bucks. Star Fox, five bucks. Not too bad. Dude, you're juggling. Oh! That's <laughs> right, they're gonna take two. Dude, you're juggling. <laughs> I didn't even know I could do this. I know, seriously. It's almost like it. It's not even. It doesn't even look staged at all. That was awesome. That was great. <laughs> You see this shrine of evil? Yeah, I do. I want to knock it over. Dear God, <laughs> what have they done? The Power Striker. I'm about to conduct a power strike of my own. All right, so I walked in with 30 bucks and I have spent exactly $30. Uh, so I'm done, dude. I'm done for the day. What do you, how are you sitting? I have a dollar. A dollar, a dollar left. left yeah. Nice. All right, so what do you say we get this stuff out and uh, see what we picked up? All right. So. We're laying out what we got today. We're checking out the spoils. Yep. So let's take a look at what you got today, Josh. For what, 29 bucks? Yeah. You got a Majora's Mask, a Pitfall, Lion King, a 32X Cosmic Carnage. Have you ever played that before? I have no idea what that is. It's probably going to be awesome. Yeah, Mortal probably. Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 3. That's pretty rad because you already have two. Yeah. That's going to be 32X, sweet. 32X, yeah. Pitfall, and then you have an a Atari, Atari Mystery card. Mystery card. Depending on what that is, that could be amazing. It's probably Pitfall. Oh, that would suck. We'll just stack it here. <laughs> Hopefully it's not E.T. Oh, jeez. That'd be the worst. For exactly $30. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I picked up Blades of Steel, oh, Mega Man 3, Pilot Wings, Star Fox, and a Mystery Cart. If it's Zelda, if it is A Link to the Past, then I had a good day. I'm going to say I had a good day. But if it's not Zelda, Street Fighter, or Castlevania 4, I think you won the day, dude, because you did really good for 29 bucks. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, so overall not too bad of a day. I would say we need to get these things home and see if they're working. <laughs> okay, so, so okay, her name's Chun Li in the game Street Fighter 2. She set, she does this move where she does a handstand, she twirls, she's kicking, she's doing this kick, and she says something. Now Josh believes, and I, I don't know if he's serious, but he actually <laughs> believes that she says me Chun Li, and she's like telling you her name while she's kicking you. That makes sense. Why does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. Why well, wouldn't it make sense? Okay, she's spinning and she's doing a kick. I swear that she's saying spinning star kick, spinning star kick, and she's going. <laughs> and she's spinning. That's too many words to say when you're beating somebody up. So, so why logic... would you tell someone their your name if you're beating them up? Because you want them to know who's kicking them. Up. That's what I said. Remember, <laughs> Rob? <laughs> ah, yes. She why would she say her name? She's saying the move by saying the move. It activates. Almost like when killers, like right before they kill somebody, they just like they give them one last little message or like a remember, remember who I am, and this is how you're gonna remember me. So before she like knocks you unconscious, <laughs> she's letting you know, me Chun Li. Yeah. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, in kung fu, when you're gonna do a style, you say the style, like you say like tiger style, it's tiger uppercut. Okay. <laughs> He's not that. saying. My name is Saget. He's saying <laughs> Tiger Uppercut because it like activates the move. He's not saying, my name is Ryu. He's saying Hadouken <laughs> to shoot a Hadouken. Guile doesn't say oh, that. I think that she does say He doesn't go, whoa, my name's Guile. No, he says <laughs> not Keanu Sonic Reeves. Boom, depending on Wait, what version you're playing. Is all in the same game? Yeah, it's all in the same game. Oh, then that does make sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you might. That's you a valid win. point. I think. But still, I think, I think she says Nietzsche. Victory. All right, so we're back at home base, and it's time to see if some of these carts work. So first, Star Fox, which we got for five bucks, which is awesome. The guy didn't know what he had. So <laughs> that's fine with me. <laughs> nice. Andross, I'm coming for you. Pilot wings. Let's give this guy a shot. We'll do some parachuting. Yeah, baby. Sweet. That's gonna be gangsta. So let's check out Blades of Steel. Pop this thing in. It's one of my favorite games as a kid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blades of Steel. 
finally, Mega Man 3, which cost me a pretty penny today. I'm still not sure how I feel about that. But Hopefully it'll work at least. It better, dude. It, <laughs> oh, man, if it doesn't, oh, <laughs> it's going to be hell to pay. Uh -oh. Just gotta give it the shimmy. Oh, there it is. You hear that? <laughs> Finally, the mystery cart, which now puts us at three. We have a Sega and an Atari cart, and now a SNES cart. So, dude, we got some mysteries to solve. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Wanna check it out? Let's do this, yeah. sucker. What?